hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's still your girl wendy if this is your first time of viewing my channel you are most welcome and i'm so happy having you today and for my old viewers and my old subscribers i really love you guys so in today's video i will show you how to make a well garnished vegetable sauce with white yam Vegetable sauce is very easy to prepare and it can be eaten with yam, rice, plantain or with potatoes. So guys, keep on watching while I show you how to garnish this vegetable sauce by walking you through all the ingredients I will use today. I have three pieces of carrot, one big onions, one big red bell pepper, one medium green bell pepper, three medium sized tomatoes and one medium size of scotch bonnet. I also have ginger paste, garlic paste, two seasoning cubes, that is no, curry powder, palm oil, vegetable oil and also salt. I'll be using frozen spinach because I could not get fresh one though i like using spinach for my vegetable sauce but you can use any vegetable of your choice which i know some people use a pumpkin leaf cow leaf depending on the one they come across so i have already cut my yam in small small slices and also wash them for cooking once you have placed your water on the fire allow the water to boil a little and then gradually add your yam before adding a little salt and then allow it to boil for 10 to 15 minutes depending on the quantity of the yam you are cooking after 10 to 15 minutes make sure to check the yam and once it is done drain the water and set it aside to prepare for the vegetable sauce so once your yam is ready, you go ahead and add your vegetable oil and your palm oil. I usually like adding the vegetable oil together with the palm oil because it makes it not to be too reddish and not to be too whitish and the palm oil will give it a very nice local taste which I like. So after adding them, you just allow it to heat up a little bit before you add your sliced onions. I also add my already sliced tomatoes, my red bell pepper, and my green bell pepper. Then I will give it a good stay for like two minutes. Next, I will add my tiny well sliced carrot and continue to stay it for like two minutes. I always like my carrot to be so tiny. Yeah. <laughs> The next thing I will be adding is my ginger and garlic paste and I will go ahead and give it another stay for like 2 minutes before adding my curry powder. I usually like my stew or my sauce to have a curry powder because it gives it a very nice aroma. So I'll go ahead and add my seasoning cube and I'll be using one and a half nor cube but it all depends on the quantity of the sauce that you'll be making that will determine how many nor cube or seasoning cube that you'll be adding. Sorry guys, I forgot to show you my deboned smoked fish. When I was showing you all my ingredients I'll be using for today's sauce, so I go ahead and add the fish but please be careful when using smoked fish and be sure to remove all the bone because of the kids. The last ingredient I will add is my already defreezed spinach which I've washed very well. Then go ahead and stir it for another little time but remember not to allow it for so long so that it wouldn't lose its nutrients. And here we have our well garnished vegetable sauce with white yam. Guys, you never need to try this to see how yummy this food is. Let me know in the comment box below what you feel about this recipe. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it and please subscribe to my channel if you have not. Also remember to click the bell beside it so you get to know when I upload another one. I really love you guys and I appreciate 
you for watching see you in my next one bye